Wait, this isn't Mega Man! This is something completely different! And yes, it is! Your King of Friendship, Nirvana Sparklinger, bringing you finally at last Digimon Digital Card Battle. This was going to be the game that I was going to do my first LP on. Why? Well, one, because I've only seen about 10 or 15 of my pro equestrians do Let's Play on the YouTube service of this game. And secondly, because I love the crap out of this game. In fact, I used to wake up at 4.30 in the morning, every morning, just to pop it in my PS1 and play it. <laughs> um, and on a side note, please excuse the drop in audio and frame rate. That is just my crappy emulator being... Well, not necessarily crappy emulator, more like crappy computer. Not being able to handle the frame rate. And it's gonna be in these next few episodes. Uh, Digimon Digital Card Battle is a trading card game. Based on the Digimon franchise. More specifically, this game came out around the time of Season 2. On a side note, your character looks like the character from uh, Digimon World. The first one. Um, I will be playing this game to completion and I may need help to get to the end of it. Because I could never 100% it, so when I bring that up again, please, down in the comment section, help. Because technically there's two campaigns, but I'll get to that. The way Digital Card Battle works is, it's a card game, as said before. Using a starter deck from the three armored Digimon introduced in Season 2, Vmon, Hawkmon, and Armadillomon. Most notably, I have chosen Hawkmon for this. Vmon, the reason why I didn't choose Vmon is his deck is OP. And your deck consists of 30 cards, with it used at, well, should I say recommended, that you have 10 support cards, which apply special effects, and 20 or so creature cards. Uh, the... Green deck, or as I'm about to rename it here, the Harmony deck, features a green, primarily nature deck, and a question deck. I'm thinking that's supposed to be the weird Digimon types that they couldn't classify as an elemental. There are fire, water, Nature, question mark, and darkness are your divisions. And Digimons are separated in their proper Digivolves. Now, this first video will showcase the beginning parts of the tutorial. And this game is very... Dialogue heavy when it comes to story content, and I'm not going to sit there and do impressions and read them. You came here to watch me play a game, not to read. <laughs> um, 
all the Diddy dust are here from season two. And all the Diddy one are up to date. Now get this. This is the first game. Make sure to like favorite subscribe for more. Of course. Um this is the first game that actually acknowledges the TV show's canon. This this game recognizes the Digimon Adventure 1 and 2 canons. And there is your tutorial trainer Betamon. Yeah, I know, Betamon. Um He's explaining that the world works off of battle cafes, which is just text-driven stuff, plus you can grind out cards here. And battle arenas. Battle arenas are your tournaments where you can face off against other Digimon and win big card prizes, and plus that's how the story progresses. Now, you can make up to three decks using the circle, triangle, and X buttons, but in the case of the tutorial, we don't need to do that. Every game starts out with picking a card, essentially, to determine turn order. Now, if you go second, like I did, then you will get second draw, but you will get first attack so sometimes if you come out with a good initial hand which every hand is divided into four cards these cards are divided into RCU which is shorthand for rookie champion and ultimate level Digimons to get a rookie the champion though you need Digivolve points, which showcased right there. Every card has a certain number of Digivolve points. Always choose the rookies. They will always have the highest Digivolve points. Just trust me on that. And the other card that you see in Betamon's hand is a support card. But we'll get more to that next time. As you can see, fire, nature, water, designated by the color of the background of the card. White cards are your support cards. And those are pretty darn handy. Now, of course, it wants me to check the hand. Every card has a support effect, which, again, I will get into those the tutorial will get into those and I will get into those much later and every hand every battle must start with a rookie it must be rookie on rookie crime at first um well, of course, with Digivolves, that will change. And, of course, as I said before, this game loves it some text. There's way too much text in, in this game, especially in the tutorial. The tutorial, in my opinion, I've done this so many times. It is way too long. And here you see, once everybody's happy, DP is set, we get into the battle phase, which battle phase consists of three attacks using circle, triangle, and X. Circle being your signature strongest attack, triangle being in the middle, and X being, being your weakest, but every X attack, some of them, however, have a special effect. Which, in this case, it is the circle attack gets nullified to zero hit points. But make sure to like and subscribe and wait for part two.